Hurricane Irma and the path of destruction, it's on track to go past a dozen nuclear reactors on the coast. This could be an annihilation scenario. This is absolutely unprecedented. I'm going to share this with you now. I want to say thank you to David for sending me these trajectory reports, and you can see them for yourself. I'll leave the link in the video description box. What I find fascinating is this most recent hurricane, Hurricane Harvey, caused some serious damage to Houston. Over $100 billion they're expecting that they're going to have to pay to clean up Houston and surrounding Gulf Coast areas. This new Hurricane Irma is on track to go up the East Coast, and if it causes any nuclear reactors to shut down or go into meltdown, then we're talking trillions of dollars in possible damage. Let me share this with you right now. And get, guess, guess what? September 11th is the date that this is supposed to reach landfall. September 11th, Hurricane Irma is supposed to reach home. So right here, you can see this thing is pissed. This is Ventu Sky. You can go to Ventu Sky. Type in the date you can see here. This is 7 a.m. September 11th, 2017. And the wind projections in the heart of the storm are over 90 miles an hour. This thing looks pissed. Now let's hit play here and see what it does. Let's see if it can, let's go to 10 a.m. Where's it at at 10 a.m.? It's thinking right now where it's going to be at at 10 a.m. While it's deciding where it's going to go at 10 a.m. September 11th, let me share this with you. This is a map that shows where the nuclear reactors are in the United States. And let's go back here. Maybe I could do this. Okay. So if we look at the two maps right now, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen reactors on the coast right here. It doesn't even include the ones in Florida. There's another five in Florida. My good friend Heidi Vandenberg, I call her the young oracle because she just seems to be so spot on when it comes to future events. She predicted some weather chaos a few weeks ago, North Korea chaos, and we're definitely seeing this right now as far as weather wars, possible weather wars. Hey, maybe it's all natural. Maybe it's all natural. <laughs> and I've got a timeshare I'd like to share with you and I'd like to sell you. I'm sure you want to buy it. The maintenance fees are only $1,500 a year and it'll get you a week in Branson off season in a nice one bedroom totally worth it. If you don't go, you still have to pay the maintenance fees. Okay. Bad joke. But seriously, guys, with all the patents, documentation, white papers, reports, and evidence that shows that the powers that be know how to manipulate the weather, they didn't necessarily start this hurricane, but could they be influencing it? Could they be steering it in certain directions? I think that there's plenty of evidence to say yes, absolutely. And then once again, let's just take a look at this location. Now, let's say that this hurricane causes one reactor to malfunction, to get flooded, to go into meltdown. Then what? Look at all the reactors close to that one. I mean, there's so many reactors in a, in a relatively small area. If you consider the power factor that each reactor has. I don't know. I don't know. What do, you, what do you guys think? you think they're just freaking us out? Or they're attempting to freak out the masses? They know everything's going to be okay. They've checked out the projections. They know. They got the math. They've got the data. Remember, they have supercomputers that can calculate over 90 quadrillion floating points per second that we know of. That doesn't even include the quantum computers that they have and the possible DNA computers that they have. DNA computers, you can store 214 petaflops of data, 214,000 terabytes of data on one gram of hu human DNA. And they've been able to use synthetic DNA that they can store that on now. So they can take synthetic DNA 
store mass amounts of data and these DNA computers can actually recreate, they can grow as they need more computing power. So if they need more pathways to come up with a solution or an answer, it'll just grow. Self-replicating synthetic DNA computers, it's fascinating. Now, it's still a pain in the ass to get fuel in San Antonio and surrounding areas. Somebody said that I was lying when I brought up earlier that my mother-in-law and sister-in-law and nephew waited three hours in line for gasoline. Come on down to San Antonio, buddy, and go to a gas station and call me a liar. There's plenty of gas stations right now where people are literally waiting in line for hours to get gas, and some of these gas stations are running out of gas before people can fill up. So come on down, buddy. Come on, hotshot. You know, it's ignorant a-holes like this guy that write a comment, oh, I researched it, there's no gas problems in Texas. It's people like that that get other people complacent. Oh yeah, everything's gonna be fine, they're just conspiracy theorists, fear mongers. Come on down, buddy. Come on down, get some gas, and call me a liar. Anyway, done with my rant there. Let's do something more productive um, there's a guy by the name of Thor that is a moderator on my live shows sometimes. He is actually being the change. He is going out helping people in Houston and surrounding areas that need help. And he's left the number for people that need help and assistance to call in the videos in the comments section that I've done. And do you like my hat? It's a little bit too small. It's a little bit too small. Question everything. Be excellent to each other and be the change you want to see.